this post will have themes that might be triggering. It has reproductive coercion, uh, manipulation, mental abuse tactics, so just be aware. This man on Reddit says, so my wife and I met when she was 22. We hit it off and we were married within a year. She was always child free and told me that from the start. I figured she was just young and free and eventually she was settled down like every other woman. Well, eventually it started looking like she was actually serious and she wanted to get her tubes removed. This really bothered me and I told her I think I'd be upset if she did it. Eventually, she managed to uh, she I managed to get her to agree to have one kid. So we started trying right away and she still wanted to have her tubes removed afterwards. Skip down. My advice request comes into play here. My wife has not been the same since he was born. She cries more than he does, doesn't seem to want to hold him, refuses to let him nurse from her. He is on formula we can barely afford, even though she has the ability to nurse him. She used to be fun, bubbly, joking. Now she's a completely different person. Yesterday, I came home from work to them both crying and screaming, and my wife said, get him out of my house, referring to our son. I didn't know what to do, so I took him to my parents and came back home and my wife was still in the same spot crying telling me her life is ruined and that she had thoughts of running away i have no idea what to do here i feel my wife has a duty to our son to nurse and love him um so he's basically asking for advice here Another one of his comments on the thread is right here. If I'm continuing to be honest, I'm not having a good time being a parent either. And I do feel some regret. I don't have a bond with our son, but he's here now. And I feel like that means we both need to get over it and do what's best for him. He said a lot more things. There are a few more comments in that Reddit thread, but it's all bad. He, this is just not a good person. But now let's talk about reproductive coercion and things that you just need to be looking out for. And women, we really have got to hold our standards and boundaries tight when it comes to this. I am a mom, but I was child free until I hit 33 because I wanted to. But you guys need to understand how men manipulate this situation. Reproductive is a hidden form of violence and control that can have life altering consequences. Kids are permanent fixtures, at least two decades of dependency. Reproductive co coercion is a behavior that deliberately prevents a person from making decisions about their reproductive health. It, it includes stealthing, um, sabotage of contraceptive, pressuring a person into pregnancy, forcing a person to have an abortion, or forcing a person into sterilization. It could be on either side of the spectrum. So let's have this conversation. Let's start it.